Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today I'm talking about BuildBox. Now BuildBox is going to be in the news quite a bit tomorrow because BuildBox 3.0 is about to drop, but that's not what I'm actually here to talk about today. Although I do want to gauge your interest in this game engine and I haven't covered it on this channel for a couple of reasons, which I will kind of cover in a little bit. But one of the biggest reasons I never covered BuildBox to be honest, was price. Now, first off, let's talk a little bit about BuildBox, then we're going to get back to that price thing. And that is, as you saw from the title graphic, the topic of this video, the pricing of BuildBox has changed. So BuildBox, what is it? Well, the entire idea behind this is it's a game engine for non-programmers. It's kind of a no, no coding programming required, all in one. It's sort of like an easier to use game maker using a visual programming uh, language. And one of the cool things is with uh, BuildBox 3.0 dropping tomorrow, it's also going to include the 3D version. So this is designed for artistic style people that don't want to get into the coding, the nitty gritty of it. And it comes with a bunch of components out of the box. You see here, by design, BuildBox is intuitive. Anyone can use it. Unlike other game maker, you don't need to be a tech genius to use it. So we put game build, build box is popular with anyone who loves games. So the entire idea behind this is you do not need to need to code. And it comes with a bunch of assets out of the box to get you started. So you're using a lot of visual tools, uh, builders and components, pre-configured stuff that they've created for you with a layer of drilled down in it for setting advanced properties. So you see, we'll go through a couple of the features. So you got a full scene editor in there. You've got timelines to manipulate a number of different object types you can work with, uh, debug mode, connections, in, or pathing, I guess you would call that. Here is your scripting system. It's a simplified node-based thing. And this is nothing new. This is basically um, an idiot version of Blueprints. It's way easy. And I don't actually mean that as an insult. It's, it's much stripped down from Blueprints. But if you ever looked at a complex Blueprint, that can sometimes be a good thing. So these are, uh, each one of these nodes is more high level and does more work for you. You can drill down and set properties of each one, but that is your coding structure. You've got all your tools in there for animating, visual design and layout, advanced options, uh, multiple worlds. This is something we're gonna get back to in just a second. Uh, and then you've got things in here like, again, you're seeing a lot of pre-generated concepts like power-ups and coins. Those are very high level and most game, game engines don't work at that particular level. That's the kind of stuff that you would generally implement yourself. Uh, you got an event system and an observation system. You got park system, lighting effects, and so on. And that is kind of the gist of what BuildBox is all about. It's this simple to use game engine with a lot of the stuff done for you, pre-configured, and you use this drag and drop flow graph or they call it mind mapped style uh, programming interface to work with it. And it also supports multiple platforms. So you can build one to play anywhere. So BuildBox, we're not just getting a port for one system. Uh, it's native for Mac and PC. Both versions of copies look exactly alike. And you can export your game to a number of different systems, including uh, with one game, depending on which, which setup you have, by the way, there's multiple tiers here. Uh, but you can export out to Android Store, Samsung Store, Amazon Store, Fire HD, Fire Phone, Fire TV, iPhone, uh, iPad, Steam, Mac, uh, Apple TV, Windows, and more. And that's actually pretty cool. And on top of that, there have been a number of games created using BuildBox. Uh, personally, I've never actually heard of any of them, but I'm not a huge uh, mobile player by any means. But if you go to their showcase, you can see some of the games that have been built using BuildBox in their showcase here, which is loading quite slowly, so let's give it a second. And you kind of, just from the thumbnails, kind of get an idea of what style of games you're using and creating using BuildBox. So now let's go back to a bit of what I didn't like about BuildBox, and that was price and the lack of access to a free version or a demo. And that is something that is changing here. So what we're looking at right now is the existing pricing model. And you're on, even if you pay on a monthly basis, so you can pay monthly, but you need to subscribe for a year. So this tier, what you're saying is I'll pay 15 bucks, but you're committing to a full year. That rubs me wrong. I'd like to be able to cancel at any time and you can't. On top of that, these pricing in today's day and age, this is a little harsh. So we're looking at the plus version, which is kind of limited here. We've got a loading screen requirement, uh, you can have at most one world, a world being defined as your game events take place in a world. Each world has its own background, art, and physics like gravity. I don't know how you could make unlimited games but only have one world. I, I, maybe it's something that someone, a BuildBox user, can tell me why that's not limiting you basically to just one game. I, I don't know the distinguishment there. But these are some pretty big limits for a $15 a month game engine. And if they want you to get past that, so if you don't want to have uh, the title screen there, you're looking at $35 a month or like 
400 and change a year. Or if you don't want to have those world limits, you're looking at $1,200 a year. So this pricing just made me go, yeah, no, no, no. Especially in a world today where we've got uh, Unreal for effectively free up to a certain income or cheaper than this, actually, for their uh, standard pricing. Uh, we've got... Um Sorry, for their indie version, at least. Uh, we've got Unreal Engine, which is working off basically a 5% commission. We've got CryEngine working off about a 5% commission. We've got uh, things like Game Maker, which are a one-time... Oh, no, they're subscription now, but still, it's 99 bucks. Construct, which is $99. So every other option out there is cheaper than BuildBox. And then you've got things like Godot, which have basically the same features, but again, a higher level uh, of work. This is, this is much more accessible and easy to use in theory. It works at a much higher level than what you would get with Godot, but Godot is absolutely free. So that has kind of been a point of contention for me. And the nice thing is to go along with their 3.0 release. So the official release date is tomorrow if you are watching this today on Wednesday. So it's coming out on Thursday the 23rd, uh, but along with that, they've announced their new pricing. So we've got new simplified and most economical plans ever. So what you're looking at now is the plus plan is $100 a year. The indie plan is $200 a year and the pro, uh, pro plan is $300 a year. So that is a massive saving at the pro level. So we went from uh, $200 or sorry, $100 a month to $300 a year. So about a four times savings there on the pro level. Uh, you're looking at 30, what was it? Yeah, let's go back. You're looking at $35 a month. So... Uh, say $400 there just became 200. So you got a, a you know, a having there at the indie level and then the plus plan, it went down the least. It's you're saving about 50 bucks a year and still no demo per se. Now I, I'll get back to that in just one second, but this is their new pricing at the same time. Uh, the option to sign up for any of our monthly subscription plans or switch over to new monthly subscriptions will end, uh, tomorrow. Uh, so basically, if you want to stick to the, the old worst pricing, but on a monthly commitment, you have that option. Now, uh, another kind of beef and why I haven't dealt with this is they have a free demo. So if we go back to this page right here and we say, so here it is. You come on down here and you can do a, tr oh, you used to be able to do a trial now off this page. I might be in the wrong spot. So we do a get build box. But in order to do this, basically you sign up. And then you give them your credit card information and the subscription starts and they give you seven days to cancel. And the only way you can cancel your subscription is by emailing them. And there's a whole lot of yeah, no in that scenario here. So that's why you haven't actually seen me feature BuildBox on this channel. That pricing situation and their demo situation and the fact that they don't make review copies available, it's just sort of like, a three strikes scenario. I, I do like the idea of what they've done here. I like the idea of a game engine that is more for the masses. The game, the 3D stuff looks really encouraging, the stuff that's coming with BuildBox 3.0, but the pricing, even at the new pricing, it, it's like so literally at one third or one half the pricing it used to be, it's still generally more expensive than Construct, um, or Game Maker, and those have a huge amount of pedigree and huge communities behind them. So I don't know where the huge sell of BuildBox is, uh, and that's kind of why I've personally kept away from it. But I would love to know your opinions on this. Is this an engine that you would like to see me cover in some more detail, or any detail to be honest? Because again, this is an engine that I have completely skipped over coverage of in the past because the pricing really kind of turned me off and the lack of a, a full functioning dem limited demo turned me off, especially in a world where we have so many options out there. But I would love to know what you think, if you would like to see more coverage, if you are interested in this engine, more specifically, if you were turned off from trying it out because of the same things that I would, would you do a trial where you sign up for a subscription and then cancel if you don't want it? Or is that like a red flag for you as well? I'd love to know all these things in the comments down below. Also, as I mentioned earlier, BuildBox 3 is dropping tomorrow. This is a huge update to it and also includes uh, the BuildBox 3D stuff. So it's coming in BuildBox 3.0. They're moving into a full 3D environment. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of new functionality here. And the one demo they have up right now, showing them creating a RPG world, it looks pretty impressive. It's definitely some, uh, it's a, an accessible 3D game engine that they've built here. And I'm kind of interested on that level. But again, I just hate their lack of a demo out there. It, it really kind of 
bugs me for some reason, especially in a world where they have so much competition. That just seems like a giant mistake to me. Anyways, I would be really interested in hearing what your opinions of BuildBox are, of those pricings. If the pricing's lowering, does it change your opinion or do you think it's still too expensive? Let me know all of these things in the comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.